Kenya has had one major curriculum reform since independence, which led to the introduction of the 844 system of education in the year 1985. Three decades later, the country through the Ministry of Education has set out to introduce yet another system of education, the 2633 curriculum. We are designing a curriculum for Kenyan children, we understand our responsibilities, and we know what we need to prepare our children to do. Nothing stops us from seeking information, and I can assure you, through all these teams of smart, solid people, we've sought a lot of information. The current structure of eight years of primary, four years of secondary, and four years of university will change to two years of pre-primary, six years of primary, and six years of secondary education. Hence, a shorter primary school cycle and a longer secondary school cycle. Early years education. This is the first level of basic education under the new curriculum, comprising of two years of pre-primary, that is pre-primary one and two, and three years of lower primary school education, comprising of grades one, two, and three. Learners will join pre-primary at the ages of four and five years, while those in the lower primary will begin the level at six years and complete at about eight years of age. According to the new framework, the main focus on this level will be early identification and foundation skills. Middle school education. This is the second level of education, which will cover three years of upper primary, that is grades four, five, and six for children aged nine to 11 years and junior secondary school level, which will cover grades 7, 8, and 9 between learners aged 12 to 14 years. This will be the longest level of basic education which the drafters of this new system claim will provide learners with opportunities to understand their potentials in regard to abilities as well as interests. Senior School Education the last level of basic education will be the senior school targeting learners aged between 15 to 17 years. This stage will comprise of three years, grade 10, 11 and 12. Here, learners will be entering a specialization level which entails choosing a career path based on three pathways, arts and sports science, social sciences, science, technology, engineering and mathematics. Each pathway will have specific options where the learners will choose learning areas based on their skills, abilities and career interest. For instance, for the Arts and Sports Science pathway, learners will have the opportunity to choose from sports, performing arts, as well as visual arts. Community service learning will be compulsory at this level across all the pathways, whereby learners will be expected to carry out at least 135 hours of community service outside classroom time over the course of their three years in senior school. This will be one of the requirements for graduating from basic education and being admitted to higher education and training. The new framework also puts into consideration the potential for learners with special needs. For instance, education for learners with special needs will begin with assessment to determine whether the learner should be placed in a special school, special unit, regular school or home-based programs. According to the Kenya Institute of Curriculum Development, the new education system will be competence-based, an approach that will emphasize on skills and application of knowledge acquired, unlike the 844 system, which has mainly been examination-centered. In simpler terms, KICD claims the framework will value excellence rather than how best one can memorize and compete for examination grades. As the piloting of grade one and two across all the schools in the country continues, the discussions surrounding the curriculum reforms remain controversial with one key question at the heart of debate. Is the new education system best fit for Kenyan students? In our subsequent pieces, we focus on this question, the education system and what it means for the country.